Today we're going to talk about solving number sentences. In order to do that, you have to know three symbols. The first symbol that you have to know is the less than symbol. The next symbol you have to be aware of is the greater than symbol. And then finally, you have to know the equal symbol. Remember, with less than or greater than, you can think of it as a Pac-Man with a mouth that always wants the bigger number. So if I was to write five and three, my Pac-Man is going to want to eat the five. So five is greater than three. If I wrote it this way, I would have three is less than five. You always read from left to right with number sentences. When I have a number sentence written out, such as this one, I have to decide if it's true or if it's false. To do that, I look at one side of my symbol, two plus three. The answer to that is five. I write the five on top so I can remember my answer. The other side is one plus two. One plus two makes three. So I put the three on top. When I read my number sentence now, I have five is greater than the number three. That is a true number sentence. Another number sentence I may come across is this one. In this number sentence, I have three minus one, that equals two, and 10 divided by two, that equals five. So I have two is greater than five. That is not true. That is a false number sentence. Remember, when solving number sentences, I'm going to solve each side of my symbol, put the answer on top, and then decide if it is true or if it is false.